at the storage unit on a beautiful Tuesday afternoon. We sold a Thomas Kincaid cross stitch counted cross stitch 514164 by 11. You just picked this up. Actually, it was a throw in at a uh, yard sale and we sold it for five bucks almost instantaneously plus shipping. I know it doesn't seem like a lot of money, but easy to ship, easy to list. Uh, this right here is a vintage boop, light for a boat. What does red mean? Red means what, stop. Which side of the boat is it? The left. I think it's the right. <laughs> anyway. $19.99. Then at the same bin and the same sale, it's funny, we uh, sold the, these are the uh, stainless steel. Un rod holders. Yeah, unbrand name rod holders. They sold for $10 plus shipping. This right here sold for, I think it was $13 plus shipping. It's an old vintage pullover from the Redskins. You picked this up at the Goodwill for four bucks and it is a Ocean Pacific made in the United States 1987 shirt. It's actually really, really nice. And that sold for $29.99 only in a week. A little pin right here. I remember we bought these for $3 a piece at the Salvation Army a while ago. They are Harley Davidson pins and that sold for $10 plus shipping. And then we had a snow baby. So we only have a couple more snow babies left. Honestly, snow babies don't sell all that great, do they? Some of them do. I think because they're heavy. Yeah, but some of them sell for a lot of money. Yeah, some of them do. Some of them sell, like we sold for 50 bucks. And then we have some left that sell for like five bucks to 10 bucks. But this one- I mean, one, they sell, but not- Fast. Fast, they're yeah. not fast sellers. Not fast sellers, yeah, so. Around it, Christmas time. And that's about it. That's do. one, yeah. yeah. Well, we only sold one so far this Christmas. No, I care about you. I care about you too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one was a uh, reindeer. No, explain to them that the caribou is the one we sold. Why is your face red? <laughs> <laughs> so we also sold this one. This one is I love you. I love you too. Rudolph. And it is a uh, snow globe. globe. Snow globe. It's like actually, hugging Rudolph. Yeah, the snow baby's hug it's hugging Rudolph. really cute. Super cute, super cute. So uh, that's all. Oh, we also sold, we're waiting on payment for a, uh, we just picked up a battery charger and we're waiting on payment for a diehard battery charger. It's actually really, really nice. The guy gave me a sob story, right? About how he only needed, you know, he needed this thing, blah, blah, blah. And I said, sure, I'll take $15 off for it. Then he doesn't pay for it. Well, he hasn't paid yet. It's been five minutes. He has three. He's days. got three days. But it seemed like he really needed it, like, right now. So I said, yeah, boom, got it. I'm your man. I'll sell it to you for 35 bucks. No well, payment. Maybe he's trying. Okay. Well, well oh, hey, Give one more sale right here. Uh, Taylor made burner super speed. I think this is a rescue. Is that what it says on the bottom? Rescue? It says Taylor made burner. Rescue? Super fast. Super fast. Rescue is right there. Super fast rescue. This would sell for a lot more money, but it needs a grip, so it only sold for 35 bucks. This is usually like a 45 to 50 dollar club, but when the grips are bad on these, you gotta take off like 10 to 15 bucks because grips nowadays are kind of expensive. So that's all the sales we have today, but we'll take them. We just also sold one of Kayla's jewelry lots. Uh, there, she's selling them in like five and six. Yeah six pound so this one sold for eleven dollars plus shipping the other ones are 15 if you want to buy a whole bunch we would take them out of the padded flat right and do like a big bulk thing but uh so far i think we have how many how many did you list already seven to ten mm -hmm. so we have a whole bunch in our ebay store and uh, we will definitely work out some good deals what are you doing in here pulling, order. pulling orders Back at the storage unit, and we have a lot to go over. Actually, we've pulled orders and not filmed them because we have just been running so hard this week, right? It's yes. been crazy. But we did sell actually a lot of jewelry, uh, costume jewelry, and that was for $11. That was a five pound, right? Mm -hmm. And then Misty messages us, and she was like, hey, I'll take the rest of it. And so Misty bought all of these. We really do appreciate it. It will be in route to you immediately so after that we also sold a lionel and i'll be popping up the pictures here we sold a lionel uh scale of trains like a whole bunch of train set it was a uh, 45 dollars. they were untested some locomotives when it comes to that stuff has to be tested we didn't test them so 45 bucks plus shipping 
Ping G27 iron for 20 bucks plus shipping. We did sell the Sony PlayStation. That thing I said was a bad buy at the yard sale. It actually sold for $18 plus shipping and we got it for I think $7.50. So eh, not terrible. A vintage Wilton glossy pan oval 12 inches sold for $12 plus shipping. We've had that for 42,000 years. <laughs> Footprints by Birkenstock sold $20 plus shipping. They're like loafers. Uh, the digital camera sold that I picked up for $2.50 sold almost instantaneously for $50 plus shipping. It was the Canon Sure Shot. I think that they, or I'm sure, I'm sorry, it is the Canon Power Shot. They do have a Sure Shot that also sells, but it's the Power Shot. Any Power Shot usually sells pretty good. This was the pink rare version, and, but it was even missing the side door. I even said all that, still sold for 50 bucks plus shipping, so be on the lookout for those. A vintage single switch plate cover enamel with a cool design on it. I forget where we picked it up. I think it was the 127. $10 plus shipping. No, that was a, a yard sale. That's right, that we just picked it up. Then the vintage Burton Mini golf bag sold we did pick that up at the 127 that's over 37 dollars and 50 cents Titleist uh wedge sold 20 bucks plus shipping that's one of the older wedges then finally the ostrich i say finally like we've had them for a while we haven't had them for that long i think we've had them for like two weeks but the ostrich boot sold uh full quill and i figured out what that meant i saw full quill on a lot of the postings that means it looks, that's where the feathers were plucked out. And that's what brings oh. that, yeah, has that bubbly look. Or not bubbly, but like dimply yeah. look. That's what full quill means. Huh. Yeah, I had to look that up. So, but they sold $225 plus shipping. We sold some bead chain inline trolling weights for $8 plus shipping. You did a hand painted bed and breakfast tray. That sold for $12.50 plus shipping. We sold a whole bunch of mid flex red 2014, a lot of 13 golf shafts for $130 plus shipping. We had a huge tool lot uh, buyout, a private buyout the other day. And I started listing them and they started selling immediately. Craftsman screw out damage screws. Uh, they were like little bits sold instantaneously for eight bucks. A Starrett, a Starrett number 18B spring loaded center punch, $17 plus shipping. It was a rough condition. That's why usually they're like 20 to 30 bucks. Then you had a five piece Durette points, just the points for the center punch, had five of those. They sold just like that for 20 bucks plus shipping. Big Boy Milwaukee here sold for $25 plus shipping. Then we had a sealed, new, brand new, back to the 50s, but made in 1990, VHS sold. Uh, that was $4 plus shipping. Your acorn sold right here. Yes, they did. $19. I still find that to be pretty <laughs> impressive. 19 bucks plus shipping. So you did well at that. Then this actually, so we got these for 50 cents. They sold for $17 plus shipping. They are slush shakers. So you freeze them, then you slush them up, and it makes a slushy. Uh, um, some more shaft sold. 80 bucks plus shipping. That is number one, right? Yep, number one. And they're uh, senior flex shafts. And then we sold an adapter. Adapter sell pretty good. Ten dollars plus shipping on that. And then big boy router here. So thirty nine ninety nine plus shipping. The thing is, we actually have five waiting for payments right now, which is actually pretty high for us. Uh, and they're they're pretty good items. One's twenty dollars. One's thirty five. One's thirty five. One's forty. And one's eight. So waiting for payments is always. Kind of annoying because that's over $100 right there. But sales have been pretty good. We've uh, been doing a lot better, but also we've been listing a good bit more. So, I mean, I guess that whole listing thing does work sometimes. All the time. All the time. We have a whole bunch to go over, but we're at the house because there was like 6 million thousand people moving into the storage unit. So we can't really do it there. So we brought everything home. Uh, we want to thank all right, Shailen really quick. Thank you so much for buying this really cool shirt. You actually bought the shirt at the Goodwill. We really appreciate your support. Also, uh, Suzanne, you bought a DVD player, portable DVD player. So that is super cool. We have a lot of actual sales to go over. Sales have picked up. We've been listing a good bit. We got a huge tool lot in and with tools, I can list between like 25 to what 50 a day on my own. And I can just burn through them in like a couple hours because tools are really easy to list, easy to ship. That's why I love them. But uh, the person finally paid for the vintage Pendleton Wool Lodge button, extra large plaid shirt, $40 plus shipping. Two vintage silver plates, candlesticks sold, $19.99 plus shipping. We bought those at the $127. $150 for some uh, tailor-made rack, not burner, just tailor-made rack 
irons they sold pretty nice and we had an antique hickory shaft wedge cell twenty dollars plus shipping a new tags good fellow 4xl sold as a shirt pearl snap sold for sixteen dollars plus shipping then right here this uh is a ryobi lithium battery charger sold for ten dollars plus shipping we also sold a the Italian cheetah bag. That video has not been on the Bearded Thrift Machine yet, and uh, we bought, picked up a whole bunch of bags. You did for like $2 a piece. That one sold for $15 plus shipping. The vintage frozen spaghetti sold. $125 plus shipping on that. We got some knives here sold for $13 plus shipping. They're from Santa Fe Steak Knives. Uh, right here is just a laminated picture or map of the Appalachian Trail. Appalachian. Appalachia. Appa. How do you say it? I'm not even going to try. Try. Give it a try. No, give great. it a try. How do you say um, it? All say right. It. So for $19.99 plus shipping. And this bag right here, we'll go up and throw up a sold comp on it. That is a Sony Handycam, as you can tell back there. It's a Sony Handycam Steady Shot that's over $175 plus shipping. Bob picked up two items. He picked up a nice, this thing is like brand spanking new Craftsman crown stapler. So it uh, does crown molding. And also this little guy right here is a Craftsman tape measure. This all was out of the lot, the, um, the tool lot. That sold for $8 plus shipping. We're combined shipping though. If you buy two things from us, we always try to combine shipping. This little guy sold $8 plus shipping. The vintage carrot. Don't try to eat it. It might not taste good. Then this right here, 20 bucks plus shipping. We just picked that up at a yard sale. This and the rod for, is for uh, $5. This sold for 20. It's a nice little Shimano bait caster and the rod was even nicer than that. Then we had a double, we just picked this up. It was listed for probably if 10 hours probably. This is a dual DeWalt charger. Now, if you can ever find like dual chargers, triple chargers or quad chargers, and the more is in one area, the more money it is. So if you can find like a triple one or something like that, they usually sell for pretty good. That one for $35 plus shipping. A single charger usually only goes for 10 to 15 because this one back here went for 10. If it's like a triple charger, you're just tripling the money. Quadruple, you're, tri you're quadrupling the money. So if you ever see chargers out there are more than one, definitely pick them up for a good deal because they do sell very, very well. That one sold, again, 10 hours. A Ambark Pets Country Dog Rope Collar, $10 plus shipping on that. This right here, this is why I love tools. This is a little brown and sharp Best Tep doll. That's all it is right there, and it's over $75 plus shipping. Uh, they can go for like a hundred bucks, but there's some parts on that that's missing on the side. But like 75 bucks plus shipping, that's sold within 12 hours. This right here, these are huge bolo, and I always tell everybody about these, is because uh, so many people skip by these at yard sales because they think that they're old and nobody wants them these are the craftsman 12 uh 12 volt lithium ion next text and this guy right here sold for 149 dollars and 99 cents plus shipping it's a right angle drill and they sell all of this this is the most expensive one there's like a drill multi-tool and stuff like that and they usually sell between 40 to 50 bucks but don't pass them up that's all what in 12 hours because mm -hmm. i just listed it yesterday so 12 hour sale on that one then we also had some more sales here. Like I said, sales are up, but we're also listing a lot more. Tiki Man sold. Tiki Man. Tiki Man, Tiki Man. He sold for $35 plus shipping. And then we also sold the Dremel. I just listed this Dremel right here. It, it has the Dremel and it also has some accessories inside of it. It is model 395. That's over $29.99. And uh, what do you think about them sales, Willow? She thinks they're awesome. 